Yes. Go ahead. Okay, let's start it. Greetings for the day to all the delegates and students. I, Purna Pradnya Pandurangi, on behalf of KL Society's Jagat, Jagat Guru Gangadhar College of Commerce, Hubani, I extend a warm welcome to all of you for joining us today for the live webinar, Winning Career Strategies for CA, CS, and CMA Aspirants. In association with Summit ZB, Career Academy for CA and CS Coaching by India's renowned Chartered Accountant, Dr. Gopal Krishna Raju. Welcome you, sir. Welcome you to the webinar. Thank you. Thank you. To speak about the institution, I would like to highlight certain things. Kaili JG College of Commerce, Hubli, is one pioneer commerce institution of Kaili Society established in 1947 in North Karnataka region. The college is affiliated to Karnataka University, Tharwar. The college has made great strides in meeting specific needs of both students and stakeholders. We focus on innovation, leadership, excellence, integrity, respect, and professionalism. We are a renowned leader in commerce education. This benchmarking has been recognized nationally in the form of accreditation with A plus grade by National Assessment and Accreditation Council, NAC. India with 3.33 CGPA in the year 2015. As a part of global recognition, the college has been backed the 94th ranked by NIRF MHRD Government of India at national level and marks the establishment of Institutions Innovation Council by the MHRD Innovation Cell India. We remain committed to impart quality education to set standards in every possible manner. Our primary goal is to impart the quality education to the students, enabling them to take further studies in professional courses such as CA, CS, CFA, CMA, Law, Management, Finance, and many more along with higher education plans. We are privileged to be in association with Summit ZV having in-house classes for the aspirants to meet the specific set of goals promised. So let's look about IIC. Institutions Innovation Council is a unit of Ministry of Human Resource Development established for imparting entrepreneurship, innovation, startup culture, incubation, and intellectual property rights to the student community. So that's it. No, now we are at the very moment of bringing the man himself in by a brief introduction. No, I cannot say it's brief. His achievements are ongoing. So here we present before you Gopal Krishna sir. So to speak about him, CA Gopal Krishna Raju sir is practicing chartered accountant from Chennai, a partner of K Gopal Rao and Company Chartered Accountants, a public accounting firm with branches at Bangalore, Hyderabad, Madurai, Tiruchirappalli, and Tiruvallur. Hails from a family of chartered accountants, his father, mother, younger brother, and wife are all practicing chartered accountants. That's very astonishing. Yes, there's a lot more to go ahead. He is a member of SIRC of ICAI, that is Institution of Chartered Accountants of India, elected for the consecutive third term to the South Southern India Regional Council of the ICAI for the trinellium term 2016 to 2019. That's really needs a great round of applause, audience. So uh, this goes on and on. So I would not uh, just sit quiet. I want to tell more about him. Associate member of 
even the cost accountants of India with all India rank and intermediate examination. Associate member of the Institute of Company Secretaries of India. Twin postgraduate diploma holder in operation research and in financial management from Pondicherry University. Masters in philosophy in management from Tamil Nadu Open University qualified information system auditor from the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and qualified part one of post qualification course in international trade laws and world trade organization from ICAI. Holds eight NSE certifications in financial markets from National Stock Exchange of India Limited. Capital markets, derivatives market, securities market, and many more. So he has authored two books that is standard costing and variance analysis for professional students. First lessons in information technology for CA students with two editions by Snow White Publishers Mumbai. He is a seasoned speaker on information technology, finance and taxation and a visiting guest faculty for numerous institutions, corporates and B schools. Member of Bombay Chartered Accountants Society and Madras Management Association and life member of the Society of Auditors. The Chartered Accountants Study Circle and an active Rotarian. He has not left anywhere. I can really. This, is, this gives me goosebumps to really introduce him. It's not the end. Nominated as member of Audit Advisory Board, Director General of Audit Chennai. Executive Committee, Center for Entrepreneurial Development, Anna University, Chennai. Co-Chairman, Expert Committee on Corporate Allied Laws, CSR Governance and Ethics of Hindustan Chamber of Commerce. A passionate writer on technology and taxation in numerous journals and newspapers. Regular columnist in Tamil weekly magazines, Nayanam Vikatan and Putia Tirumalai. Kalvi, he can, and you can reach him at his email will be given shared in the chat box. Yes, this reminds me of something when I met him for the first time that uh, really uh, linked with what uh, IIC is. He on the spot just told us IIC can be Institutional Innovation Council, but here I tell you for being something in life, you need IIC. That is interest, involvement, and the confidence in yourself. Here I present before you the man himself, Dr. C.A. Gopal Krishna Raju, sir. Sir, the stage is yours. Thank you. A very warm good evening to one and all. At the outset, uh, let me thank uh, JG College of Commerce uh, Hubli and uh, Institutions uh, Innovation Council in association with uh, Summit JetB, which is uh, an academy for uh, CACS and CMA for organizing this uh, wonderful program on uh, career opportunities and the strategies which uh, as a student we need to uh, lay down to achieve the pinnacle of uh, a professional course to become a chartered accountant or a cost accountant or a company secretary or even a multiple professional qualification so this is the purpose of this uh, session and i'll slowly try to uh, take you into this particular program one by one i'll unravel it we are actually uh, close to 150 plus participants are online i must appreciate each and every one of you and uh, one request to all of you here first request is uh, this is a channel youtube channel and many of you uh, would have already uh, been part of many of the YouTube channel, but this channel is a very important uh, academic oriented channel. So I request you to kindly press the red color button, subscription button without any charge. There is no charge for it. In future, 
any of the program what we will be doing you will get a, a, an intimation in your email and wherever you are online you will get an intimation so please subscribe the channel so that's the first point i want to uh, convey before i start the session i will be starting the message with uh, this point you know india is a population of 138 crore i repeat 138 crore population and out of this uh, more than 50 percent of the population are below the age of 25 and majority of the participants are uh, you are in this uh, age group and i want to make one more observation that uh, below the age of uh, 35 65 percent that means almost it's a first class okay anything above 60 marks is first class and please look at this 65 percent of the uh, population or below the age of 35 we are the youngest population i must say why because please compare that with uh, china and japan in japan the average age is 48 and uh, in china it is 37 india it is only 29 for your kind information and uh, you are one among that <coughs> so what uh, is in store for you especially as a young uh, generation part of india for uh, future what is there for you that is what i am going to uh, uh, bring it before you i want to make this point very clear that remember qualification and education there are a lot of difference qualification education lot of difference no no i will i will acquire certificate i'll get certificate just by getting certificate uh, will i get a job no you need to develop the employability employability that is most important not certificates now i'll get this certificate i'll get a job no today google i'll tell you one thing google is a company they don't want to go for uh, what do you call it as a routine uh, 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 what do you call it as the post graduation and graduation okay 10 plus 2 and after the three years sir and after the two years is post graduation oh you have done that so we will employ you no it is not that they go by lateral entry what do you mean by lateral entry if you have the skill if you have the talent you may not be even experienced you may not be even have that qualification but you have the education you have the skill you have the employability skills that is what uh, today employers see and for that skill with the knowledge with the professional uh, acumen you need to develop and that is what i am going to take you through the three professional courses the chartered accountancy company secretary and cost and management accountants so i'll give you the websites i'll give you the references all this stuff uh, please go there and try to do your try to do your homework i want to tell you this i am here only to prompt you i'll only prompt you i'll only give you the platter before you you only have to find out what to eat uh, what to pick it up so one by one i'll take you through one by one i'll take you through now before i start this i want to uh, make one point very clear one point very clear my uncle told me to study this course my aunt told me to study this course my uh, mother told me to do this my brother already is doing so i am doing it uh, no the first thing what is required i repeat the first first thing is what you require is interest my good friend uh, who was introducing me he was mentioning that particular point so the interest starts with a letter called i i repeat the word i if you have this first i i think you can open you can open that uh, gateway, the gateway of the professional courses. And I'll share with you some interesting uh, numbers. Numbers. I think these numbers will actually uh, give you some uh, uh, interest towards this course. You know, when my, my mother is a chartered accountant, okay, my mother, I'm actually driven by two women. Both of them are chartered accountants. My mother is a CA, my wife is also a chartered accountant. So I want to tell you one thing very clear, right? Yes, guys. Out of uh, 
the ICAI, where uh, you know how many uh, members are there, we have close to 3 lakh uh, chartered accountants across the country. ICMAI, the Institute of Cost and Management Accountants of India, you have close to 1.2 lakh members. And Institute of Company Secretaries of India, we have close to uh, some 80,000 members. So almost, so that means you can take 5 lakh professionals across the length and breadth of the country. So 3 lakhs plus 1 lakh 20 plus 80,000. So far away. So it's a very big number. And you know, what is the size of the students? You have to multiply this with uh, 4 times. So that means 20 lakh students. So you have 20 lakh students and 5 lakh professionals. So 25 lakhs are already associated with this three institutes across length and breadth of the country out of this 138 crore population and out of this 138 crore population 50 percent of them are below 25 for your kind information so that means uh, it's close to uh, 70 crore population and out of 70 crore population only 25 lakhs are associated with this institute for your information now i'll tell you one more thing the women folk the women folks the girls who are uh, taking up this particular course uh, are rising every year, every year. And when my mother was uh, doing this particular course, she used to tell me when we used to study CA and other professional courses that she used to be the only, she used to be the only lady candidate writing the examination. But today it is not so. You know, almost more than 50%, it's not even 50-50, more than 50% of the women folks, uh, they are uh, taking up these professional courses. And uh, more so, uh, as I uh, try to actually explain many of the points in this, you will actually understand and appreciate uh, that uh, you will understand that uh, the digital, the digital part uh, has taken over a lot in this particular uh, course, especially the entrance examination is now become digital. You can sit in your home and write exam. You can sit in your home and write exam. And uh, that is what is going to happen. Uh, it's already started in ICSI and they are going to start even for ICMAI. This is December examination onwards. And uh, Institute of Chartermans of India is also contemplating on the same direction. So it's something very um, interesting we are going to see now, the next few minutes. And uh, please note down... Uh, Two things, as I told you at the beginning, you have to subscribe this channel by clicking the subscribe button. Okay. Second, uh, you have to ask questions. I repeat, you have to ask questions. We are now 418 now. So uh, maybe I will go through another uh, 30 to 40 minutes of presentation. But after that, I will invite questions from all of you. So I wish to actually hear many questions and I will try to actually answer those questions. Okay. So as I told you, the first thing, if you have the interest, I am sure. All this will definitely interest you. This is one side with respect to numbers. You know, there is one more thing I want to share with respect to numbers. That is the salary part. That is the income part. You know, what is the opening salary? The opening. The Those who are rank holders in CA, rank holders in CMA, rank holders in uh, uh, IC, uh, SI or ICMAI. So the minimum starting package uh, starts from 8 or 9 lakhs the corporate package and it goes uh, up to it goes up to 60 lakhs package so the minimum package is 9 lakhs and the maximum package is 60 lakhs so and there are international uh, uh, what do you say the carriers are also available so this is uh, the numeric part uh, which i want to first share with you okay before uh, i take you into the main topic this is one guy, uh, please note down, and there are many people like this, not only uh, Aditya Jawad, and many such youngsters uh, who have cleared at the young age of 21 or 22. He was just uh, at the verge of completing his 22. So he became the youngest boy to clear all the three professional courses. You can just Google this name and find out uh, more about this gentleman. Okay. So I want to share with you that uh, these guys, Summit JB, they are uh, the guys who are going to offer these uh, classes uh, online for all these three professional courses. And uh, at the end of this session also, I'll try to uh, share with you their contact number and uh, anything uh, maybe uh, physically you want to uh, get uh, support with respect to uh, 
uh, submission of forms or uh, clarifications uh, you can actually get in touch with them and i want to um, start with the first thing the entry to the ca course guys the entry to the ca course is very very simple i want to share with you very simple things that uh, you have only two models one is called the direct entry model another is the foundation model now no need to worry about it many majority of you are post plus 2 now post plus 2 please understand one thing very clear here that uh, look at this uh, blue color so once you have completed your plus 2 examination okay so register with the board of studies after appearing in class 12 examination please look at this after appearing so that means you need not even qualify plus 2 you need not even wait for the examination results okay of course now the exam results have come plus 2 results have come so i am mentioning those who will be or those who are in the 12th standard this year who will be giving up their examination in 2021 okay so those who are already given their 12th examination in 2020 that means pre pandemic they have already got the results so register with the board of studies after appearing in class 12 examination so meaning the ones who register immediately they will give you the study material you can start preparing for your examination you can start preparing for your examination you can attend the classes online classes you can attend and today you know what is the advantage of online classes you have friends across length and breadth of the country and you will not uh, not only you will have friends uh, uh, in your city you will have friends even uh, as part of uh, the uh, network the country's network so this is the first thing and please look at the last date, June 30th. It is already over. Now, December 31st is the last date to register. If you want to write your examination in the month of, I repeat, in the month of May. For example, if you are registered before 30th June, you can write in the month of November. For example, before 30th June uh, 2020, if you are registered, you could have written your examination in November 20. Now, if you register through so this month is September or next month is October, November, December. If you register before December, you can write in May 2021. Now, what are all the subjects? Very simple, guys. Please look at the subjects. There are only four subjects. And these subjects are very common for CA, CS and CMA. Please look at this. One is an accounting paper. Another is a law paper, a mathematics paper, an economics paper. Look at this subjects. Now, please look at the subjects of company secretary, especially uh, the executive entrance test. Look at this communication, legal, economics, current affairs. Wow. So very close uh, subjects. Apart from that, you have a viva course also, which will be for 15 minutes. Uh, you have to do it. Now, please look at uh, the subjects of uh, Institute of Cost Accountants of India, economics, accounting, law, mathematics. So. It is actually uh, uh, in Lagan, there is one uh, sentence will be done. If you win the match, uh, okay, you need not pay the taxes. But if you don't win the match, if you fail, uh, teen guna lagan. Teen guna lagan means three times you have to actually pay the tax. So that is the condition of that match. So here, you prepare for one foundation exam. What is it? You prepare for uh, CA foundation for these four papers in detail. In detail, these other two, it is like preparing for teen guna. Three times you have to actually, uh, three times of preparation. So directly go and sit for examination for the other two. You can directly go for examination for uh, the CS entrance and as well as for your uh, CMA foundation also. So that is the advantage of uh, this paper. So register with board of studies after appearing in class 12 examination and appear in your May or November examination and after passing the class 12 examination. Please look at that particular condition. Very, very important. You will be eligible to appear in the May examination only after passing class 12 examination. What is the meaning of that? Meaning you can enroll for the foundation course after appearing in class 12. So enroll, get the material prepare when you are appearing for examination in the application form you should uh, by the time of uh, examination application form you should have cleared your plus two 
you should have got your plus 2 mark certificate so generally it will happen because you will appear in class 12 examination in the month of march or april so immediately so before june itself you register so month of uh, the my april itself you register uh, presuming now you are going to appear for examination in now may i mean november exam only you are going to appear for november exam the august september will be the month for uh, submitting of the application form when you are submitting the application form by this time you would have got the plus 2 mark sheet so that is the idea behind it. that is the idea behind it. so please plan and uh, take a paper take a pen and then draw a timeline chart so where you are where you want to become so this entire chart uh, will actually take 3 uh, years to actually complete and this foundation will take 6 months time so minimum preparation 6 months time plus your examination plus your results time so maybe you can add another 2 months to 3 months maximum so within 8 to 9 months time foundation clear i repeat foundation clear okay now i want to share with you some interesting uh, point here what is that in this uh, paper papers of foundation course huh? you have paper 1 2 3 and 4 out of this four papers two papers i repeat two papers huh, are written papers and another two papers are objective so that means you have to you will have multiple choice questions paper 3 and 4 are multiple choice paper 1 and 2 are written so that is very so that means subjective 1 and 2 is subjective 3 and 4 is objective you have to uh, uh, but the same in company secretary please come to company secretary this is the steps in company secretary cs executive entrance test it is called c s e e t c s e e t so or you can even call it as c seat okay c seat okay cbia okay like that executive program eight papers professional program nine papers so this is where uh, so that means uh, eight plus nine you have uh, 17 papers plus c seat the c seat is actually one exam only for two hours but you have four papers in it or four subjects so you can say okay so what are those uh, please look at this this is the four subjects business communication legal aptitude and logical reasoning economic and business environment current affairs so number of questions will be 120 questions and the marks will be 120 and the test duration will be 120 minutes duration only a designated test centers and it will be computer based test conducted in the mcq pattern now what has happened post this uh, actually it was uh, designated test centers means you have to go to a particular test center but now what has happened uh, post corona post corona it is a proctored examination now what do you mean by proctored examination you can sit in your home only thing is keep your uh, room uh, neat and tidy don't keep all uh, uh, kacharas uh, in your room keep it neat and tidy only one table one chair and maybe uh, not much of the stuffs in your room so that if you uh, move your camera this side and that side everything should be very clear okay every that's it so and uh, the your camera should be on your mobile your webcam should be on and you have to only take the examination only through only through desktop or laptop you cannot take it through mobile it is not possible so like that they have given some 50 faqs please go through that this is not the forum to actually explain all those stuff huh? but i can tell you only one thing very clear so already this computer based test so this is online please look at this eligibility fees huh? and when you have to do the registration and what is the subject subjects just now already we saw please look at the registration now who can actually do students who have passed the senior secondary examination or appearing in senior secondary examination with the condition of submitting 12th pass proof at the time of executive program registration so this is actually different compared to your uh, ca course eligible to appear in november or main examination after passing class 12 examination so here in foundation you should have passed class 12 but here the c seat uh, those who have passed plus plus 2 are those who are appearing those who are appearing also can immediately uh, write this exam please look at this registration 16th december to 15th of uh, april in second or third week of may 
so and from 16th of april to 15th of june in the second or third week of july okay and 15th to 16th of june to 16th of october in second or third week of november and 16th of october to 15th of december in uh, third week or uh, second or third week of january so this is the cut off date for registration so within this date uh, if you register almost every 3 months uh, they are conducting this examination you know when is the latest examination actually this month uh, one examination is happening this is this month so august 29th one examination is happening for that already dates are over <laughs> for that already dates are over now the next examination is going to happen here the revised announcement please look at this so when is the next uh, say it may be noted that students who are registered for cseet up to 27th of july the 27th of july date is here please look at this date okay so what is the 27th of july so 16th april to 15th of july and that they have extended because of corona they have extended up to the 27th of july shall be eligible to appear in the first cc scheduled to be held on saturday uh, the 29th of august 2020 so that was over just now just now it was over and uh, the next examination the second examination is going to be held the november 2020 session is going to be held on 21st of november 2020 saturday okay so uh, it is hereby informed uh, that registration has already commenced and now it is going on so the last date for registration shall be 27th of october 2020 so that is what the here it is given please look at this so instead of so 16th of june to 15th of october the last date is given as 27th of october 2020 so that is what the date they have actually fixed so you we are now in uh, the month of september till october next month uh, 27th we have time to actually appear for uh, the second c seat okay which is um, the company secretary executive entrance test and remember guys this is a two hour examination online you can sit in your home and you can write i repeat you can sit in your home and you can write please uh, use this particular link and also please uh, take the help of uh, the coordinators in hubli you will be in a position to actually understand more about uh, what you have to do and i'll try to share with you uh, who is uh, once you have actually qualified the c seat eh? okay well, of course this is the fee amount is very very limited you can directly enroll for uh, executive program and uh, executive program what are all the subjects you have eight subjects so of course final is uh, mean the professional program you have nine subjects so it may be too early for me to actually explain about the professional program but if you wish so i'll try to explain that also but please look here what is the condition for uh, uh, getting uh, admission to the executive program the cs executive entrance test passed students okay second okay of course the earlier part was cs foundation the icai the final course passed student and icmai final course passed student so they are also equally eligible for this uh, cs executive program so cs foundation program passed students okay cs foundation or cs uh, executive entrance test because why it is cs foundation previous to this so those who have passed but they are not enrolled they can also come so these are all the fees part of it to the institute you can refer to that later and uh, very similar to the dates uh, here okay the cut off dates for registration here the cut off dates for registration are also been given that is to may if you are want to get uh, eligibility in both the modules uh, in december examination of the same year you need 6 months gap so for example if this december 2020 you need to appear then you should have registered before 31st of may now you want to appear only one module out of the 6 uh, eight papers only one module means four papers you want to appear means you have to register before 31st of july so as far as uh, 2020 is concerned neither 31st may nor 31st july it is possible because both are gone now 30th november is that once you register before 30th november you can appear both the group both the modules that is module 1 and module 2 eight papers in 2021 in 2021 june you can appear in both the modules so that means all the eight papers you can write or maybe you want to uh, delay and uh, register by 31st of january 2021 then any one of the module you can appear in uh, 
the June 2021 examination. So please note down this uh, the due dates. Huh? These are all very very important. So you miss even one day. For example, why I am mentioning this particular point is say here they have given the date as 27th of October 2020. I have seen many students who will call me on 28th of October and they will say. Sir, I have missed the date. Please do something because everything is computerized. Everything is online. Nothing can be done on that particular day. So, as a student, uh, the lesson number one uh, always you need to be very clear. Yes, and uh, another lesson number two also you need to know two lessons. Lesson number one is don't forget these dates. You have to remember all this. Number two, don't forget the rule number one. Okay, so rule number one, don't forget the dates. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. Very important. So that is with respect to our CS uh, uh, intermediate. Uh, I mean, otherwise called the CS uh, executive program. It is uh, previously called as intermediate. Now it is executive program. Good. So now let's uh, let me now it is 436 guys. So I will take you to another 20 minutes, uh, much more detail, and uh, I will also share with you the success strategies because once I explain to all this. After that, I will share with you the success strategy. You want to become a chartered accountant. You want to become a company secretary. You want to become a cost accountant. For example, very similar to that is cost accounting. Please look at this. And uh, this is your uh, eligibility part. So uh, please go apply. You have to, everything. Everything is uh, application is online. There is no physical application. So there was there were times when physical also was there. Digital was also there. Now everything is shut down. So all applications are online. Please look at the eligibility same. So he should have passed, passed uh, the senior secondary examination under 10 plus 2. So you can get that uh, and you need to attest all this and uh, upload it. Uh, and this is the these are the four papers guys. So paper 1, 2, 3, 4. I will just share with you an interesting one. Please look at the paper economics, accounting, law, mathematics, statistics. Look at the same four papers in uh, CA foundation. So accounting, law, mathematics, economics. Only the order has changed. So what I will say, you prepare for CMA, you have already prepared for CA. Or you prepare for CA, you have prepared for CMA. So it is win-win. Um, it is win-win. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do, you have to actually prepare CA and write CA and the CMA foundation. Or prepare for CMA, Right, the CMA Foundation and the CA Foundation. So both you have to do. And as far as education is concerned, don't don't uh, delay. Okay, okay. Next six months I will write. Uh, next I will write. Nothing like that. So you have to do it immediately. Once you have an idea, I need to do it. I want to do it. So I started with the first letter. What are the first letter? Interest. The moment you have this uh, I with you, interest with you, don't delay. Don't delay. There is no even a six month delay is a delay. Your career you are actually delaying by six months. Why you want to delay that? So the first thing is interest. You have the liking. Okay. And the interest should be 100% interest. It should not be a forced interest. No, no, no. My dad said, my mom said, my uncle said, my neighbor said, my aunt said, my mama said. No. That interest should be your own interest. Okay. So that is the first one. The Next part I want to uh, share with you, uh, that is the success strategies with respect to these examination. I make one point very clear, guys. One point very clear that uh, once the first eye is there, that is the interest is there. The second eye, uh, I want to say, the second eye is called involvement. I repeat the word involved. These two eyes, so interest should be there and involvement should be there. So like these two eyes, even though these are two eyes, uh, this is uh, two letter I's. Okay. Now, what do you mean by involvement? You have how many hours in a day? 24 hours in a day. Okay. So, you have 24 hours in a day. And in this 24 hours, I want to tell you one thing very clear to all of you. What is it? Out of this 24 hours, how many hours you sleep? You will sleep actually 6 to 7 hours. So, subtract the 7 hours. So, balance how many hours you have? 17 hours you have. And balance 17 hours, you subtract another one hour to take care of yourself so seven hours is sleep and one hour is you have to take care of yourself that is uh, brushing bathing uh, dressing all this stuff so balance is 16 hours 
and another one and a half hours you have to subtract for food because morning half an hour afternoon half an hour evening half an hour tv all those stuff so out of 16 one and a half hours gone so balance is how much uh, 16 minus one and a half is 14 and a half hours now out of this 14 and a half hours uh, place like uh, hubli place like karnataka any place like belgaum okay mysuru okay you uh, and uh, bengaluru you need to uh, spend at least uh, on the way uh, half an hour to 45 minutes return on the way half an hour or 45 minutes sir. so one and a half hours gone with respect to travel or conveyance or whatever it is any city your average average time i am giving some can be even more than that or some will be less than some are very close also okay so for any any stuff whether it is for education college all this thing so what is the balance out of 14 and a half minus 1 and a half uh, it is 13 hours and out of this 13 hours i'll presume that you have are going for a college or office of course if you go to a college it is highly productive you are going to learn you are going to read new new subjects eh? but i'll presume that uh, you are going for a training or you are going for a college eh? i'll subtract 6 uh, hours okay i'll subtract 6 hours so balance is 7 hours with you okay this 6 hours also is going to be product is going to be learning only i'm not denying that what is the time that is allow available with you that is what i'm coming so out of the 7 hours guys balance 7 hours i will uh, subtract 1 hour for your family huh? you have to uh, your mom will say your dad will say you have to spend time with uh, your uh, uh, you have to play huh? so 1 hour is for the family so balance is 6 hours and another 1 hour for uh, yourself like uh, you need to actually play update yourself read newspaper yoga running jogging play whatever stuff so balance is five hours wow now you have not read anything so far okay you have not read anything only five hours is there now out of this five hours i will only take four hours uh, round about okay one hour i have cushion these four hours every day if you concentrate that is the involvement i want i said interest first the interest should be 100% i didn't say 24 hours interest interest should be 100% so the there is a word in hindi dil aur man laga ke padna dil aur man laga ke man interest should be dil aur man laga ke okay so there was a guy who uh, who asked boris becker sir you are a very good player huh? tennis player what do you do after you play tennis i after i play tennis i play tennis oh no 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 i think you didn't uh, understood my question <coughs> after you play tennis what do you do after i play in i play tennis after i play tennis i play tennis this guy got annoyed he said after you play tennis and after you play tennis what do you do he said after i play tennis and after i play tennis i play tennis meaning it is uh, there in his blood so he thinks tennis he speaks tennis and uh, he always uh, thinks about it but uh, that is the interest that is required interest should be always there always there will be people who will be more demotivating there are negative factors around us so many negative factors and uh, that is the first thing you need to be very very clear about it okay the interest should be 100% then is involvement what do you mean by involvement this is the four hours this four hours a daily i repeat guys four hours daily and uh, four hours into 30 days per month is 30 days no 120 hours is there per month okay and uh, a subject like um, foundation you have how many subjects please look at this uh, you have four papers but it has subsections also so paper 1 2a 2b 3a 3b 4a 4b so that means uh, so you can actually take it as 2 4 6 and accounting also it's very big stuff so you can take it as eight ah uh, eight small small papers so you need uh, eight subjects so that means 120 hours into 8 uh, you need 960 hours okay so every day if you uh, read 4 hours for uh, 30 days you have 120 hours and 120 hours uh, you need uh, each subject how many hours that is what the calculation i want to do so and after that we'll come for uh, the number of uh, months required each subject so i said there are eight sub subjects or we can even take as four subjects why should we make it as eight four itself will take and each subject uh, if i ask you a question how long it will take to complete one subject so because four has part a part b and part a and part b three has part a part b four two has part a part b 
accounting is almost 15 to 16 chapters okay that means your entire 10th 11th standard and 12th standard plus some more chapters in your uh, bcom uh, or your uh, undergraduate first year uh, accounting paper also will be there in it so it is actually a, such a voluminous paper so then uh, how many hours you need each uh, subject you may need not lesser than 100 to 120 hours to study on your own so that means you need 480 hours so 120 hours for one paper so into 4 is 480 hours and per day you have 4 hours i repeat per day you have 4 hours so you divide by 4 uh, hours uh, that means you need 120 days to prepare very simple 4 hours uh, per day 4 uh, subjects into 120 hours uh, 480 hours and divided by 4 hours per day you have 120 days so the same so 120 days means how many months you need divide by 30 it means you need 4 months so 4 months of preparation is must so this is what is called as involved and i am sure if you give this 4 months what will happen immediately exam will come so therefore 4 months will not be sufficient so you need 4 months for preparation 1 month for revision so 4 plus 1 will be the 5 months and the preparatory work so the moment you join the course uh, immediately you may not find all these uh, classes cases everything uh, to uh, do the preparation so that is why that breathing that breather one month is required so six months uh, will be the exact time that you will require that is why please look at this so you are actually registering when so register with the board of studies after appearing in class 12 examination till 30th june and when you will write the examination november so now please look at the six month time for example if you are uh, completing your examination by end of march or first week of uh, april so april you register april 15th you register now how many months you have may june july august september october correct six months is there so immediately after that november so may june july august september october correct six months so moment you finish your plus two you register immediately start your preparation uh, go for the classes and then uh, prepare yourself well parallel parallel now the six hours uh, if uh, nowadays post to corona people are not uh, going to school or colleges okay so they are only having their home schooling it is one way good because not more than three hours or four hours uh, people are uh, involved in it so balance time also they can actually spend uh, quality time they can spend with the subject and they can update and upgrade themselves so we are now at 448 450 guys so i'm going to take you with another 5 to 10 more minutes strategy so i told you about two things what is this one is called as interest second is called involvement so two eyes the second what i'm going to say is with respect to uh, uh, your preparation first p okay so preparation planning and perspiration so first i will call it as so two c's okay i mean two eyes two eyes one eye is interest another eye is involvement and three p's what are those three p's first p is planning just know what i showed, told you is a planning okay how many hours i have in a day 24 hours so how many hours i need to focus on the subject I need to focus on the subject for uh, every day four hours. So this which four hours, morning two hours or evening four hours or in between or night or early morning. How I will focus? What is my other commitments? How will I structure it? So that is called planning. And this planning is a short term planning. And remember guys, short term planning alone will not help you. You need to have a long term planning also. What is long term planning? Okay, I will complete my examination in the next six months. So what I should do after that? After qualifying my foundation? when i should register okay so i will register my intermediate course and after that how i will prepare for my intermediate my examination when i will prepare so you need to have a timeline prepare a timeline chart and maybe buy one white chart draw a timeline timeline means draw one line and here and there you put milestones or years a month and within this month i want to complete this i will write my exams here results will come here i'll enroll here i'll write my intermediate here i'll I'll prepare for my final. I'll write my final year. Like that, you have a timeline. 
this will be registered in your mind so you will actually you are you become a visionary as a student itself you become a visionary so that is called planning this is very important for every student it is very important so short term plus long term okay so that is planning the second planning the second p so after planning once you planning is not everything next is called as <coughs> preparation now what do you mean by preparation you need to prepare preparing your table preparing yourself keeping your mind and body healthy okay keeping your mind and body healthy eating uh, on time not eating junk foods uh, and uh, keeping your health uh, perfectly i used to say this very very important you know three things is very important for uh, proper preparation of your studies to keep your mind and body agile number one very important number one please remember this that adequate remember this word adequate adequate should be sleep adequate sleep now you know how many hours you have to sleep minimum 6 hours minimum 6 hours so minimum 6 hours to 7 hours mm -hmm. sleep is required so 6 hours 6 and a half hours 7 hours so that is the adequate sleep and this sleep uh, pattern should be standard 9:30 go to sleep get up at 4 o'clock 4:30 or go to bed at 10 o'clock get up at 5 o'clock simple so this is uh, what you call it as uh, a pattern should not change very important so that is adequate sleep so sleep second <coughs> regular exercise regular exercise please remember this guys so adequate sleep regular exercise it can be anything do yoga do uh, what you call it as within the same place have some all matter do the stretching and all finish or do jogging, running, play. You have, you take any some play, not indoor games, okay? Not your uh, uh, mobile games, so not, not that games. You need to have a physical exercise. So shuttle, tennis, uh, volleyball, basketball, something which you, you have a flair for it, you like it and your physical body can uh, accept it, okay? Not that you have to exert it to do it. So anything which can, which which uh, your pasina can will come down. So that's most important. Okay. So the regular exercise, and that only will keep you your uh, what do you say your body toned and your digestive system appropriate. Okay. So adequate sleep. So regular exercise and uh, most important. Okay. Most important, the food what you eat, the food what you eat. Okay. So timely okay and the fibrous so what you should eat what you should not eat both is very important so what you should do timely you should take food fibrous food you should take more water you should drink what you should not do you should not do uh, uh, the stuff like uh, eating junk foods uh, untimely food uh, all these you should avoid so these three are very important for your preparations and uh, maybe that is what uh, you will actually plan well, but your body will not uh, cooperate. You will get sleep. So what to do? So the best thing is all these things, if it is there, timely, that particular time you sit. You sit. Everything will uh, you will be alert. And you will actually take the book and you will read. And if these things, three things are not done properly, your planning will go for a toss. Okay. So preparation. And the most important, this is... Uh, your body and mind preparation and your uh, subject preparation is also there. That is the next one. And how will you prepare? Most important, guys. Most important. There are two types of subjects. One is a law paper where you need to read and understand. Another is arithmetic. So, I will say that uh, the people say, oh, that is theory. This is problem. Problem, I will take a lot of books and I will prepare. Wrong. A professional course like this, you need to even a law paper, you need to take a notebook and you need to take points. Okay, section number 24, subsection 1, subclass B of the Income Tax Act prescribes that what is deductible for an income from house property. What is number 1, 30% standard deduction, number 2. So like that, you need to take notes. Only if you take notes, it will be registered. Your own handwritten notes, not the notes, somebody's notes, take photocopy and then read. Uh, uh, okay, right now, take a pencil, tick, 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 tick. No, that is not preparation. Preparation is your own handwriting, your own handwriting. And that is more, that will actually register. You know, 
reading four times is equal to writing once reading four times is equal to writing once so remember that so that's preparation and you know what's the third p first p is planning second p is preparation and uh, third p is perspiration perspiration what do you mean by perspiration this will be exhaustive for one particular point of time the day one you will do it day two you will do it day three you will do it fifth day you will you will till the monotonous seventh day to the monotonous eighth day okay right i don't want to do this so uh, it's, it's becoming very boring for me. that is where your mind and body should be focused towards your your timeline this is what your mind and body should be tuned sometimes what happens is i i was uh, some one of my friend said he actually qualified the examination after two days he is again asking did i qualify the examination uh, should i have to read again to the extent he has become a part and parcel of the system part and parcel so that is a perspiring preparation perspiring preparation so so that is most important guys so i was mentioning about boris becker what did he say after you play tennis what do i play tennis after you play tennis and after you play tennis what do i play tennis that is the spirit that is what is called perspiration okay i close the book up. immediately uh, things will come to your mind discuss with your friends take a phone discuss with your friends these are the issues i have got while preparing for my uh, uh, what do you say my subject and i am not able to understand what is at that side what you have been doing so you should not have 10 friends 20 friends you must have only two or three maximum and that should be a wavelength uh, friends and that is the most important thing in friendship also so maybe you can have 20 30 40 100 200 <laughs> friends but most important two or three friends who can actually share what they they learn that is the most important thing with the friends very important guys friends who knows what is there what is the subject uh, he should be in a position to explain to you and share it with you and that friendship is only most important friendship so i just share will give one example no uh, one example i give so if i have 1 rupee you have 1 rupee we exchange our 1 rupee i end up with 1 rupee but i have one idea you have one idea we exchange our ideas we end up with two ideas i got two you got two right now i give an interesting uh, uh, situation for example there is a subject like uh, okay what is the subject here uh, please look at the subject uh, uh, intermediate ah, look at this intermediate. so a subject like securities laws and capital market a subject like uh, setting up a business entities and closure uh, jurisprudence interpretation general law you know how many chapters are there you have a uh, close to some 18 chapters are there 18 chapters bomb pure i will study same person studying 18 chapters is difficult now have three friends a b c three friends 18 chapters 18 divided by 3 6 chapters per subject per person a will read only 6 he will only thorough on that 6 read line by line word by word take notes on that 6 chapters only b will read the next 6 chapters 7 8 9 10 11 12 C will read a uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Now, ye when he has prepared chapter one, he will go and sit with all his notebook. Get it. B and C will only ask questions on chapter one. Hey, what is this? What is that? What is? It? He will only answer. In the process, you are actually exchanging ideas. So B and C, without studying chapter one, they are able to learn chapter one. This is how you have to minimize with the minimal time, maximize the benefit. This is called perspiration, perspiring, perspiring, ah, uh, perspiration towards the subject. So where you maximize with a limited time, you try to maximize because time is a very very ah uh, short time, and within this time you should actually make it up. So guys, ah, uh, I must ah uh, thank each and every one of you for being very very patient enough, very very patient enough ah uh, in uh, so almost close to 150 participants ah. Uh, were there and uh, thank you very much for uh, being part of today's program i will be uh, open for any questions uh, uh, which you want to uh, share want to ask yes now i would like the audience to please uh, type your questions in the chat box so sir is ready for the interactive session so he will be answering your queries
am i audible sir uh, yeah yeah please sir yeah. you can okay. come online and then you can ask questions there are some questions in the chat yeah 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 i'm just looking over them. yes that was expected uh, yeah so there are some participants who have already registered for foundation this november and they have less time left for it so they are asking the way to go so only 3 months left for my exam but i haven't started little scared what to do now sir okay. not even 3 i guess not even 3 <laughs> so uh, what has happened so far don't bother about it and uh, don't bother about completing your syllabus bother about what you want to uh, learn so even in this 3 months uh, be focused shut down your uh, tv and uh, switch off your mobile phone just focus only on focus only on your study material i think 3 months is more more time huh? more time and i am sure you will clear the examination in first shot itself next question and yes i would also like to add here uh, icai is giving live virtual free classes on youtube so even uh, you could go there if you are done with the deadline so the next question is uh, explain about the direct entry route sir okay so oh, wonderful so direct entry route is actually applicable for those to clear their uh, degree so after plus 2 you can go for the foundation route after plus 2 complete your degree and you are can go for your uh, direct route maybe i'll just share with you uh, the direct entry path huh? please look at this yeah yeah so commerce graduate uh, this is a direct entry route uh, in commerce graduate there is no percentage that has been fixed but if it is a post graduate they are fixed as 55% and uh, other graduate and post uh, they have uh, uh, fixed that as 60% that means bsc mathematics bsc chemistry zoology for them it is 60% okay good so once you uh, qualify for example you are a bcom graduate so directly you can instead of coming in this particular route uh, writing the foundation examination please look at this after writing the foundation you are registering for intermediate here after completing your degree you are going to register for intermediate course so here you register for intermediate here also you register for intermediate now after registering for intermediate you have to join the 3 year practical training and appear for intermediate examination after 9 month of practical training so very simple so once you complete your degree directly register for uh, intermediate course undergo four weeks of uh, the it training the integrated uh, course on information technology okay on and soft skills so that is called icitss so that is a four week program so four week is uh, actually a, it will be a 20 day program so where you have to complete that it is like your orientation program which will help you to actually do wonders even in your uh, uh, office uh, duty also so once you've completed that you can actually uh, uh, join the 3 year practical training and appear for intermediate examination after 9 months of practical training please remember you would have completed your uh, intermediate uh, i mean you would have completed your 4 weeks of icitss after that 9 months waiting will not sufficient immediately you have to join your 3 year practical training okay so 3 year practical training is very very mandatory and from the date of the training 9 months should have elapsed to uh, appear for uh, the intermediate examination so join 3 year practical training and appear in intermediate examination after 9 month of practical training okay so that is most important so so next question here sir uh, we have pratiksha asking that uh, 
do, do these uh, professional uh, degrees have value in abroad like can they practice then abroad with having a degree from icai or icsi no they can't practice abroad but uh, there is a lot of job opportunity now why you want to uh, study yeah. here and practice there you study there and practice there itself. that is better atmanirbhar atmanirbhar exactly next question yes sir uh, okay so this is a question from geeta here so how about the college going students managing bcom uh, or any other undergraduation with the ca thing on one hand balancing up actually um, you it will be a more value addition for you you have to uh, for example uh, i'll give you a scenario like this say geeta avaradi geeta avaradi is asking this question you have joined your uh, first year course now you want to do your ca so what do you do you first join your foundation complete your foundation now once you complete your foundation what next you have to do you need to join your uh, intermediate course now what do you do you discontinue your regular course join a correspondence and uh, ultimately you are going to get a bcom if you are focused towards uh, no no i want to do a uh, a full time uh, bcom course uh, if you are going to do a full time bcom course it will be difficult for you to do the the uh, article training so you have to be very very focused so if you want to complete your ca within uh, for example 18 plus 6 uh, months plus 3 years article so within uh, 21 and a half years you want to qualify ca or i want to complete bcom 3 years then 3 years uh, articles that means 3 plus 3 6 so 18 plus 6 24th year only you will become a ca you want to become a ca in 21 and a half years or you want to become in 24th year so that is the difference uh, between uh, giving importance to bcom first and ca next uh, ca first and bcom next next question yeah so there are a couple of questions on uh, uh, can we clear the foundation uh, with coaching or without coaching like Uh, who is asking this swati swati yes yes swati i want to make one point very clear there are many students who have cleared without coaching coaching is required only for those who uh, who are i will say those their iq is very less i will say coach without coaching also you can do it it all depends upon you are uh, or you are uh, what is you your taqat your mind ka taqat so coaching is not mandatory but if you want to have a structured preparation i repeat the word structured preparation so who are the best students what is the best preparation strategy for example there are certain topics uh, which you when you prepare yourself uh, it may take actually 8 hours to prepare but when you go for a structured uh, uh, classes you may actually learn that in 1 hour or 2 hours so you are saving 6 hours or 7 hours so that is where the advantage is there so you need to actually understand where you are what is your level of uh, uh, what you were brought up uh, and your level of uh, education and what is your syllabus go through the detailed uh, syllabus curriculum how you can cope up with it because the entire chartered accountancy course cost accountancy course company secretary course is a self learning course i repeat the word self learning course and 40 years back my mother my father they were all self learners only and many of the seniors but today the time is a constraint and you have lot of disturbances what is a lot of disturbance when my father and mother was there only uh, sunday alone the movie will be telecasted saturday alone evening the hindi film will be telecasted but today 24 hours hindi film 24 hours kannada film 24 hours you have the chitrahar or whatever it is everything is there and you have the 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 best and the worst friend uh, uh, next to you so which actually takes your time so here you need to actually focus your attention do i need coaching or not so my suggestion is if you uh, feel that you need to optimize your time go for the best structured uh, uh, coaching and finish it in first shot next question Uh, Lakshmi is asking about the CC study materials. If uh, ICSI is providing it or not? Yeah, and every six months they are upgrading their study material also. I repeat the word: every six months they are upgrading their study material. 
and it is available in BOS Knowledge Portal. I repeat the word. Please go to Google and type BOS Knowledge Portal. The entire study material is available. You can download it, take print out, go to a DTP center, spiral bind it, and start reading. Start reading. And across the country, everybody can download, whether you are a CA student or not a student, it is available for free. Download and read. Rich content. Very well researched, rich content. Next question. Strategies for CA finals. CA? Finals. CA final. Who is asking this question? Name AJ. Is what are strategies? Complete or CA intermediate? I guess. No, no, let him say. If he can yeah, yeah. intermediate, I'll answer this question. <laughs> exactly. So let's move to the next question. So uh, yeah, Shamar, you are asking uh, after uh, undergraduation, is foundation necessary or uh, going for IPCC is suggestible? Huh? Uh, yeah. What is your question? After undergraduation, is uh, foundation necessary or going through the direct entry? No, no, no. After undergraduation, foundation is that is a direct entry course. So many of them are asking how to apply for it. So you can just uh, go to the ICI website, exam portal, and you will be notified there. So. So, Mr. AJ is uh, doing his second year of articleship here at Hubli. Uh -huh. So, he wants the way forward. What is it? What is the, What is this question? Yeah, Mr. AJ is doing his second year of articleship. So, uh, he was oh. the one to pose the question. Oh, CA okay, 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 okay. So, uh, you see, as he put that point, sir, I completed intermediate, sir. Okay, very good. See, when you have completed your intermediate, uh, you are an eligible chartered accountant. Let me tell you, you are an eligible chartered accountant. I didn't say you are a chartered accountant. So, you are an eligible chartered accountant. So, eight subjects, uh, you have to structure your time very well. And if you are doing your article sincerely, if you are doing your article sincerely, I am sure you can get maximum marks in your taxation, management, accounting, accounting, accounting standards, all subjects. So don't bother about, don't keep all the study material like this. For example, so this is your study material for uh, your uh, final. Okay, don't keep it like this one after one after another. And then don't see the size of it. That is not correct. <laughs> okay, it is not the number of pages that matters. What you understand from that is matters. Okay, so more the pages means more the clarity. Lesser the pages means, uh, for example, you have a uh, Bhagavad Gita, you have Tirukkural. So all those things is very small, but a uh, lot of information is there. So you need a teacher, you need a guru to actually tell more about it. But study material has been well researched with the explanation, diagram, detail, illustration, and the exercises solved. Plus you have the RTP, plus you have the suggested answers solved. Please do everything. You will not have time at all. So you have to only structure your time properly. Don't use cell phone at all. Use an ordinary cell phone, only SMS and don't know smartphones. Until you clear your CA, no smartphones. I am very serious about it. Smartphones are the killers. Smartphones are the killers. So AJ, my best wishes. I want you to see uh, see as a chat account. Next question. Yes, Mr. Sashank is as asking that uh, having completed CA foundation, is it easy to shift to company secretary executive? Is it uh, is attending CS easy for people who are completed? Yes, absolutely. So that is your first milestone you have crossed. So definitely you can uh, clear. Immediately go and write a C seat. What is C seat? CS executive entrance test online sitting in your exam sitting in your home you can write the November 27th is the examination please write that exam before October 27th apply for that you can definitely qualify Rishi Kesha who is that Shashank okay Shashank next question so I guess uh, yeah they are taking time to even ask more questions so uh, in that meanwhile I would like to take a question of myself 
uh, like how how is the role of technology in preparing for uh, uh, these competitive examinations so you told to avoid your phones and uh, everything so how was I it said, i said avoid avoid mobile phone that to smartphones only i never said avoid mobile phones use a normal mobile phone which is with the text with the, that the keypad will be there king 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 that that mobile you use it okay <laughs> don't use a smartphone number one number two use a laptop use a laptop there are a lot of stuff is there lot of very good stuff is there for example i'll i'll just share with you some interesting stuff please look at this mm. yeah look at this so this is uh, uh, what is the site uh, you have the bos knowledge portal uh, bos knowledge portal uh, look at this knowledge portal so much of stuff is there in this knowledge portal let me take you inside you will you will know about it look at this inside they have uh, what do you call it as let me click this one. Uh, ah please look at this where they have pdf uh, formats and you have the study materials mock sample papers question papers of previous answers you have the the recorded lectures are there and uh, you have live uh, interaction you can do with uh, uh with actually uh, with the faculties all this stuff on uh, digital learning uh, please look at this this is what i want to show you please go inside this this is the digital learning hub uh, which is applicable which is available for students please go inside and uh, register for this lot of stuff is there inside lot of stuff what do you call it a uh, subject wise uh, recorded classes are there and uh, pdf materials are there the various links are there and uh, you have for example you want to know more about technology more about technology you go to a site called whatis.com there is a site called whatis.com whatis.com simple simple site everything about technology you can learn from this particular site everything about a to z with the diagrams it is there self self learning everything it is there so for every site you have a for every subject you have a site you can go and uh, uh, learn from there okay good so technology is going to be enabled you can click in one side and learn and you have a site you can go and uh, uh, learn from there okay good. so technology is going to be enabled you can click in one side for example please look at uh, in youtube youtube there are a lot of lectures lot of lectures on youtube i'll just show you uh, something uh, for example just to type gst you want to know about uh, 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 you want to know about ndas you want to know about ndas i'll just type ndas okay so ndas so we have lot of for example i want to know about ndas uh, 109 you have lot of uh, sites of uh, look at this india is 109 which is taught in 60 minutes 6 hours 3 hours 1 and 1/2 hours and uh, 19 minutes uh, this is uh, in three parts four parts it is there expected credit loss in 10 minutes so how many sites are there and i am sure you can select uh, and you can even uh, put this you can uh, arrange this in maximum views look at this pravin sharma 93000 views 93000 so this is uh, 169000 views so using all this you can actually uh, make the best use of it okay next question yes that was really great sir so next question is uh, what is your take on cracking ca in the first attempt so what are your quick guides on it? what is it cracking the foundation or any next uh, level exam in the first attempt Uh, I didn't get your question. What is it? Oh, yeah. nice. Cracking the exams for CA, CS, or CMA in the first attempt itself. Okay, you want to uh, crack it in first attempt. So what is yes. the? Uh, what what is after that? Ah uh, yes. Well, what is a quick guide? So I guess you would share some uh, tips on that. Oh, so uh, please ensure that you have to. Uh, make that time utilized very well as i told you 
six month preparation you want to clear your inter- foundation in first to go six month preparation is very important so from the day you actually enroll till you are going to appear for examination six months uh, four month you need to prepare one month you need to revise so five months preparation is required somebody asked me i have not at all done anything still three more months is there you are you uh, can he uh, expect to get rank i i doubt because there is a need for a structured preparation that much time is required so that you can do revision also so without revision uh, if you do the revision you are very very confident about the question tak 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 you can finish it because two types of uh, subjects are the one is subject another is objective so both you need to actually do well and in objective the question is small answer is only multiple choice where two answer you will eliminate other two answer will be very close unless another you have practiced well you have practiced well you need to practice a lot for some <coughs> for objective questions maybe i we will take the last two or three questions okay yes sir exactly so uh, we have apurva here asking about taking uh, one module or two module for the cs executive at a time good question my suggestion to you you have to take both the modules why you want to restrict to one module why you want to restrict to one module you give me an answer first so never restrict yourself never ever restrict yourself you have to try the best okay you have to give your best okay go go for both the modules prepare well for that okay optimize your time try to actually plan well plan i said three p's what is it first is planning second is preparation third is perspiration okay so ensure that so it is not that uh, one module two module what is the time available what is the time required try to squeeze fit in to, to that that is the best planning and i am sure you can do it if you plan well uh, next so one more question we have here so uh, sir is it late to do a ca at the age of 37 no i have a friend who after is a bank uh, retirement okay bank retirement uh, what is a bank retirement he was a banker he retired at the age of 56 or 57 at that time he joined the ca and at the age of 60 he qualified ca now you tell me so he is uh, uh, at the age of 57 uh, uh, if he is thinking like you what he will do so you are actually early 30 years before 20 years before you are actually starting so my best of luck you are qualifying ca examination next question so one last question we shall take here uh, which is really a necessary one so uh, uh, sir i am a final year student and my last semester exams are not yet happened so i guess it's about the covid situation so she is a direct entry student and she uh, can she start her article ship provisional article ship no you can't because to come to do your article ship uh, you need to complete your to start your article ship you need to complete your that uh, 20 day uh, ITSS uh, that training program to complete that to get the enrollment for that 20 day you need to register yourself as an intermediate student to register yourself as an intermediate student you need to actually uh, qualify the degree course so therefore you can't register as an intermediate student so uh, you are in a, i will say uh, you are a covid cha- you must you you will become a covid chartered accountant so you will actually tell your children and your next generation you know that i was the covid chartered accountant because at that time covid came it was a very very interesting situation so don't delay my suggestion is if you are able to they are allowing you direct entry after completing your examination well and good otherwise right foundation what is wrong in it right foundation so you have two entries both entries you qualify so my best wishes to you so don't wait for your uh, don't delay don't delay delaying is the most worst tactics don't do that okay next up. so she will get one more c prefixed cca covid chartered accountant now go <laughs> exactly so that was really very good so uh, to all the audience here right now i would like to just announce uh, kindly check the chat box so the details about your counselor is there uh, that is summit zb uh, so they are located at uh, kle jgcc college hubli itself in the vidyanagar so you can meet them any time the office is all open now so uh, even they have mentioned their contact details yes uh, that is one Uh, so they have their branches in Bangalore, Belgaum, Gulbarga, Hubli, Mangalore, and Mysore. 
So anywhere there is a single point of contact, so you can uh, go there. Yes, we are receiving uh, good comments from all our uh, viewers. They are thanking you, sir. So yes, on behalf of all of them and on behalf of uh, our principal and all the supporting uh, people for this webinar, and especially uh, Santosh sir, CA Santosh sir, I would really uh, express my uh, heartfelt gratitude to him. And yes, the, I'm, I've left with no words for you, sir. It was really excellent. So here we will be moving to the end of the session. So I would like to thank each and everyone for joining. And uh, yes, it was not just any uh, other webinar done. This was really delivered to most of you. So sir was very happy taking your questions. Uh, and the purpose is really served. So yes, uh, you can reach him uh, and the email ID will be put up in the chat box. And yes, we will be doing uh, certain more sessions for all of you. Uh, and uh, yeah, even next uh, Monday, we have a, a seminar a webinar coming up. So we will be updating you. Kindly be in touch, everyone. So once again, I thank you, sir. Thank you on behalf of KLE Society's Jagat Guru Angadar College of Commerce and Summit JetB Hubli. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Again. And uh, participants, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Yep, yep. That is really mandatory for you to come in. And uh, yes, you have to subscribe. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank Best you, sir. Namaste. Thank you, sir.